All right, what's up everyone, and welcome back to a new video on the Lenoir series part four. Okay, so this video and this episode is a very interesting one. Uh, there's a lot of things going on and there's a lot of cinematics and the works of the animation of the game. Uh, so I hope you do enjoy. Don't forget to press on the like button if you like this video, subscribe and press on the notification button to be notified by the upcoming videos. So as always guys, hope you do enjoy. Let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. Okay. So, we just got a new job that we... There's some sort of uh, criminal activity that we're going to be checking out. Uh, so, investigate Jacobs' backyard. Okay. So, that's the goal. That's the new objective. So, yeah. So, the game so far is actually pretty good. Uh, I love how the the operator or the user interacts with all the environment and how the environment interacts with the user. Um, it's, it's such a surprise to know that this game actually was released um, like 12 years ago. And that's how advanced the technology was at the time. And I do wish, and I always got to be promoting and always got to be saying this, I do wish that we see Lenoir Part 2. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Okay, so we have arrived uh, at the crime scene. Okay, so you see a vehicle. Uh, it's some sort of, a, of, a, of an abandoned vehicle. Um, maybe it's a, it's a murder, maybe it's a, it's a stolen vehicle. Maybe the motive here is to steal. Uh, we're going to find out for sure. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Right, interesting. Okay, so there's a missing license plate. Just gonna find if there's any registration cord. There we go. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Okay, so plate number PR seven zero six. Empty. Okay, so that's an empty trunk. All right. Let's see what we got here. A missing wheel. The wheels is for okay, so if we find the missing wheel in some household or in, in other residence, that might be evidence that the guy is the kidnapper or the killer in that case. And if we find the same... Okay, so we're trying to match, so we're trying to find the missing pieces. So I guess the missing pieces will be the license plate, the uh, missing wheel, and the... Um, the yep, the license plate wheel, yep, and matching the uh, wrench key. All right, license plates PR seven zero six. So I guess that's gonna be a good idea if we go and talk to uh, the guy who was the first witness on the crime scene, and 
We'll see what we get. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks, ma'am. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway. Last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Can you describe the men? Like I said, they were beaners. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. Okay, so we have arrived at uh, Dewey Properties. We're trying to match the um, the tool or the wrench key that uh, we find in the crime scene just to make sure uh, if it's missing from um, this garage or automobile um, customization mechanic 
shop uh, just just by by just matching that the the fact that the the ranch key is missing from these from the station uh, we might have a good indication that the actual uh, person who have committed the crime uh, might be one of the working personnel in this shop or it might be the owner who have orchestrated um, all that um, to to kill or to commit a murder homicide to a diplomat so we'll see how it goes um but so far so good we're getting some leads here um so that's actually perfect one left gabriel delgado is missing a three-quarter Not everything here is going to be relevant. I don't think this is going to help us. Probably nothing. This doesn't pertain to the case. I bet abroad's been driving this auto. The clutch is a mess. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. So you don't know where the kid lives? He got kicked out of his last place. He might be his girlfriend's, but I don't know where that is. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. That's it. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for a Gabriel Delgado. Delgado. Last known address has him living with a common law wife. 103 Hill Street, apartment 3. We really ought to Thanks take more help. time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot.
Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? Yet. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 20 weeks. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. <laughs> Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. I doubt it. Doesn't look like anything. Maybe if... No. We really ought to take more time over the Packard, Phelps. Let's head back to the empty lot. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? He steals cars to support you and care for the baby? How can you say that? What makes you say that? I have my own job. I work at Union Station. If I have to, I will bring up our baby. That is all I have to say to you.
incidental. I don't think so. Diplomatic license plates. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice in these robberies. What proof do you have that I stole the cars? You come into my house to insult and bully me? I have known many policia like you. Gabriel wasn't at work. Where can we find him? He said he would never go back. Gabriel is out driving around in his car. If you don't tell me where he is right now, Anna, I'll put an APB out on him and ask them to shoot on sight. Please, please don't kill him. I can't tell you anymore. As soon as we corner Gabriel, we'll be back for you, Anna. You had your chance to cooperate. Let's get out of here, Phelps. Don't worry, I've got an idea. Never understood it. The more rotten the boyfriend, the more loyal the girl will be. She's going to warn him, Phelps. We need to follow her. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Thank 
units in the vicinity. Citizen reports at 415. Suspect vehicles engaged in illegal street racing. Units to handle code 3 identified. You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. There's the red Ford. That's Delgado right there. Phelps, 1247, requesting assistance at 1st and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Leon Delgado. Delgado is our boy, forget the others. Get in the way! You're gonna lose him! Step on it, Phelps, take him out! Enough games, Phelps, take this guy out! Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. God damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricón! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should've burned his fucking car! You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That, Detective Phelps, is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. All right, folks, that is the end of part four from La Noir series. Um, before going to the outro, I just want to say and uh, wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, I hope you do enjoy and uh, have a nice time with the family and friends uh, before the new year, 2024. Uh, hopefully it's going to be as great as 2023. And as always, guys, without further ado, um, thank you for watching. Um, take care and we'll see you next video.